All right, folks, we have a beautiful yellow Prime Mobility Quantum Edge HD power chair, eye level. It has the seat lift also. So this chair has only 23 miles. It was used maybe for a couple months. It's a, if you need an HD chair and you want that seat lift, this chair has a 400 pound weight capability because of the seat lift, not 450, but 400 pound weight capability. It has four electrical function. It has the 10 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. So all the function on this chair have to be worked through the joystick. So what you do is you go to your joystick and you see the button on the left side, you keep pushing it forward until you see a picture of your seat on the screen. Whatever is yellow on your seat is what the function is gonna be working. So right now with the bottom and the back are yellow, that would be tilt. But I'm gonna move it sideways until I get the bottom of the seat yellow by itself. So this portion right here, yellow. Want that's yellow, pull the joystick back and here goes your seat lift. So when you start, you're gonna start roughly at 22 inches when you start. And when the seat is elevated all the way to the top, you'll be at 10 inch high, you'll be at 32 inches. Okay, so remember this is, this chair has a 400 pound weight capability. And there goes the seat lift all the way to the top. And the nice thing about this chair, when the seat lift is elevated all the way to the top, you can still drive this chair at a decent speed. Now, I don't recommend you drive this chair with the seat elevated outside, but if you're on a flat surface, because that would be a lot of, you're asking trouble, okay? So it's good to make the seat go up and down, but just be careful. Let's look at the base. You can see we have 14 inch wheels. They will not mark your ground, your floor. Caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. You can see the rear suspension here. You see if I push the chair back, you can see the suspension at work. There's four of these. There's one in each corner, okay? This is your anchor point here and here. This is where you would secure your chair to your lift or your van if you're gonna transport this chair. There's two on this side, two on the opposite side, okay? You can see the armature for the seat lift right here. You can see the actuator right here that makes the seat go up and down. Also, you have an HD motor. These are heavy duty motors. So they're a little bit noisier than your regular motor because they're HD motors. So you have a motor for each wheel. This chair right here probably weighs minimum 450 pounds to 500 pounds because it's all metal and motors, okay? So I'm not gonna be able to push it if I had an issue or lift it. But if I turn the power off, okay? on the power chair, turn the power off, push the yellow lever down, and what that does, it unlocks the wheels. You can see the wheel is unlocked, okay? So you have to do both motors, then you can roll it around. It's, it is a heavy chair though. When you're done, do not forget, put it back in gear, and then you can turn your power back on. And the reason you want the power off when you put it in neutral, you want no resistance in the motor, okay? So, You've seen the base right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the seat and bring the seat back down. While the seat's going down, let me talk about the swing away joystick. This is called a swing away joystick. So you get a lot closer to a table when you have this option on here. It's already on this chair. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side and put that cup holder on this side, okay? This is called a swing away joystick. The second option we have here is the tilt. So the tilt is when the base right here goes back. Of course, it's gonna take the legs, it's gonna take the back because they're all connected together. That's called the electric tilt. So we'll see how far this goes. So it's a full tilt, okay? The next feature I'm gonna show you are the electric feet. So these feet are electric, so we can adjust them. So if you're five feet tall or six foot two, we can, we can make these whatever size. So this whole chair can be uh, customized for your height and weight, okay? So if you need some good circulation, which is, this would be a little extreme, but if you're halfway tilted, let's see what it looks like. So if we bring the seat down, halfway tilted, say right about here, your feet are still higher than your body, okay? So you don't have to go all the way up unless you want to. So we've got the seat all the way back down. The last function now is called the electrical recline. The electrical recline is when the back right here goes back by itself. You can see it's going back by itself. 
So if you are leaning down in this chair taking a nap, you want to see how far it's going to go, we'll show you right now. This is it. So this is as far as it would go if you're, so it's pretty flat already, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the back up and the legs down at the same time. So you see the legs are going down, the back's coming up, because I've got the seat yellow and I've got the back yellow on my screen. And I'm pushing the joystick forward to make, the, to make this, all this happen in one motion. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. Leave your legs out like this when you're outside. It gives you a little more room under your feet in case you happen to hit a curb. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring the back forward by itself. A little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out of this picture. I'm going to go back to the driving mode. And I'm going to go too, too fast. Let's look at this, this chair also. What else it has, okay? These arms have arm support. So if I raise the arm, you can see the arm support right here. Came out of this ridge right here. If you don't have these arm support, uh, it's okay. But now look, I can push as hard as I want on this chin. This arm does not give because it has this arm support, okay? So you have that on both sides. The seat on this chair is tw 21 inches by 21. 21 by 21. Uh, from outside of arm to outside of arm, we have on this chair, you need to remember this, because if you go through a door, your, your widest point is going to be your cup holder, tw say 28 inches, okay? From the outside of your joystick to the outside of your cup, safely 28 inches is the width of this chair, okay? So we can change the cushions on these chairs. Now, this chair will probably stay like this, so because whoever's going to buy this chair is going to want a big seat, so it's already ha it already has a big seat. But if you have any questions on this chair, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. And if you're left-handed, we can switch the jerky to the left and again put the, put the cup holder to the right. If you're inside the house, here's how your chair would turn if you want to see what it looks like when it turns. So it's a mid-wheel, so it turns around its own length. It stays in the same spot and turns around its own length. Now, if you want a better turning radius than that, just bring your legs all the way under here, these foot plate all the way to here, then you'll have a shorter, especially if you're in the house, you probably don't want to have those legs sitting like that all the way out there. So if you need a tighter turning circle, that's what you would need to do. The chair is also equipped with lights. There's a little button right here. If I hit it, you can see the light here on the front and you can see the back tail lights. Whoop. Tail lights, headlights. So if I go around a circle, you'll see again the tail lights and you will see the headlights. Okay. And that button for that is right here. That turns the light off. Also with this chair, we have push bars here. So if you had this chair in neutral, it is a heavy chair. It's nice to have this instead of having to push on the seat. You have push bars here and you can push this chair around, you know, if you had to push it around manually, okay? The headrest is fully adjustable. When you charge this chair, you'll take your charge. Well, one more thing. Let's put this up. You also have lateral pads here, okay? What these do, these pads, they keep your knees from buckling out. It keeps your feet on the foot plate. Most people like these pads closer to the front that keeps right against their knees, keeps the knees from coming off the foot plate. So it has the custom knee pads or lateral pads for the knees on the chair already, okay? It also has the reinforced arms. This chair is not locking. It's got everything you, you, you'd want in a heavy duty power chair. When you charge this chair, you just take your charger, plug it below your joystick, and as soon as you go from orange to green, you're fully charged. These are, small, these are smart chargers. They will stop charging when the batteries are full. So, let's recap. What do we have here? <clears throat> we have a Pride Mobility Quantum Edge HD eye level. It has the 10-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet. This chair has 23 miles. It was used for a couple months. It has the swing away joystick. It has the reinforced arm. It has the lateral knee pads. It has a light kit. It has the push bars, the adjustable headrests, the HD motors. So if you need a heavy duty power chair, this would be a pretty nice one to look at.
All right, folks, this is the Quantum Edge HD for heavy duty, 400 pound weight capability. The top speed is 4.2 miles an hour. So that's what I'm showing on the register here. So if it doesn't go 4.5, that's just the way it is. If <laughs> maybe it is going 4.5, it's only registering 4.2. But the speed right now that I'm seeing on this joystick is 4.2 miles an hour. Um, so these chairs don't go very fast because they're, the motors are HD. They're not high speed, they're high torque, okay? Great chair, it has a great suspension, dries very easy, stops nice. It has uh, electromagnetic brakes, so when you let go, the brakes break automatically both motors, so you stop within a few feet. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to elevate the seat so you can see the seat going up as we're talking and I'm going to drive the seat with the seat elevated in a few seconds and once the seat is all the way up. So this is the Quantum Edge HD 400 pound capability because it has a seat lip of 10 inches. It has the tilt, the recline, the electric legs. It has a total mileage of 23 miles. It was used for a couple months. It has a cup holder that's removable. Um, it has a swing away joystick, the, the lateral knee, knee pads here. So right now I'm elevated, so I'm going to put it back in drive. And I'm going to turn around and see how fast it goes with the seat elevated. So at least three miles an hour. So right there I got, if I go here, 3.3 so with the seat elevated 3.3 if you're going to drive this chair with the seat elevated please folks drive it on flat surface this is not for the backyard these are nice chairs but you do have to take care of them they're really nice seat lift but they're made for the malls inside your home where it's really flat no bump because you don't want 400 pounds going back and forth on that seat lip sooner or later it's going to give okay so if you're looking for a nice hd power chair with the seat lift like this one, with the tilt, recline, and legs, uh, yellow in color, this is a nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.